In this video, we will continue with binomial expansion. You will find this on page 80 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Expand this in ascending powers of a up to the term in a square. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, so this is very important. They are not asking you to give the final answer. They only want it up to a certain point. So, we, we use Pascal's Pascal triangle. We, we know the fifth when n is 5. It's 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay, so we are going to start by saying, okay, 1 and 5 and 10. Now, let's see. I take the first term. I far, it's to the power of 5, then 4, then 3. Then the sec second term is first nothing, then 1, then uh, or 0, let's rather say, and then it's 2. And if I work it out then, I will just say this is just 1, this is 1, so it's 5 times, so it's 10a, and this one, it's going to be also 1, so 10 times, this is becoming 4, so it's 40a squared. So basically they want you to stop there. Okay, so if you, if you do an extra one, you can just then say therefore and just write it up to a squared. Okay, but now they usually let you do a to help you in b. They say find the coefficient of a squared in the expansion of. Now take note that this is the same as this. Okay, so, so write out that three terms up to there. Now, to, to multiply this one out, you can do the short way. So, it's going to be 1 squared, uh, which is 1. This multiply, multiply 2, negative 6a. This squared, it's a positive 9a squared. Now, only multiply the terms whose product gives a squared. So, if you think 1 is the one that, yes, if I multiply it with this, this one, I will get it. Let's see another one. Uh, 6a, so it will be with another a. Can you see? And this one will just be with a 1. So I'm going and I multiply that out. So I get 40a squared. This one, I get negative 60a squared. This one, I get 9... Oh, let's just see. Oh, this is 9a squared. So it was this one, which is squared, and this one is 9a squared. And now... I just go and I just add up all my terms. So this is negative um, 20 plus 9, so it's negative 11a squared plus the coefficient. Now this is the term of the terms a squared will be negative 11. Okay, it's actually a little bit, so you don't do the whole thing, you just do the parts that's involving that terms. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number, um, okay, do for me number one as well as number four. And again, you can, this is try now, 39. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. So let's start. It's going to take a lot of concentration. So let's just start with it, 1a. Expand in ascending powers of y up to the term in y squared. Okay, so I will, it's 1 plus 4y to the power of 6. Now, if I want Pas Pascal's triangle, just remember it like this. Um, say, for example, what was the fifth row in the previous one? Um, if the fifth row was 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Then this would have been 6. This would have been 15, 20, 15, 6, 1, 1. So there it is. Okay. So if I'm going to write, this is now my 6, 1. So I'm, I'm going to start by saying, okay, let's start. Uh, they only want it up to square. So I'm starting, I get 1, 6, 
15. Okay, 1, 6, 15. I think it will be enough up to there. Then I take my first term. So it's going to be, let's just take different colors. So it's going to be 1 to the power 6. Then this is 1 to the power of 5. Then this is 1 to the power of 4. Then this is not, uh, to the power of 0. Let's rather call it like that. And then this is 4y to the power of 1. This is a plus. And this is 4y to the power of 2. And then it's plus. And now I just simplify. So this is just 1. This is 1. So it's 6 times. So it's 24. And this is going to be y. Um, yes, 24y to the power of 1 and plus and this one this is also this is 4 times 4 so it's 16 times 15 so it's going to be 240 and it's y squared okay let's just control quickly that was 16 times 15 240 okay y squared okay and that is up to, so um, in ascending powers, up to the term y squared. So there is y, there is y squared. Now, now I'm going to go on with b, and a is going to help me now. So find the coefficient of y squared in the expansion. Now don't forget, luckily this is only to the power of 1. But don't forget that you are sitting with this one. I'm first going to rewrite it. 1 plus 4y to the power of 6. So can you see that this is the same as this, which is the first few terms. So if I'm going to rewrite it, I'm going to say 1 minus 5y, and this is going to be 1 plus 24y plus 240y squared plus da, da, da. Okay. Now, uh, they want of y squared. Now, let's just see which ones will give you y squared. If you take this one and you multiply it with that one, you will get a y squared. If you take this one, grab that sign, and you multiply it with this one, you will get a y squared. So, basically... This time, so this will be 240y squared, and this is going to be 5 times 24, so uh, let's just see, uh, 240y squared, and this is going to be 120, so minus 120y squared. And if I'm, I'm simplifying this, I subtract, I will get on the dot 120y squared. So therefore, uh, what are they saying? Find the coefficient of y squared. The coefficient of y squared is 120. They actually don't want that whole term. They just want the number in front, the coefficient. And that's how you end. Okay, let's do number four. Okay. Number 4a. Expand. Now, it's the fifth, so it was that one. This was the six. So, this is when n is five. This is what n was six. Okay. So, if I'm lo looking at this one, now this is one minus y over two, and that's five. Expanding ascending powers of up to the term y squared. Okay. So, if I'm, I'm writing on my coefficients, don't, um, it's going to be one and it's going to be 5, and it's going to be 10. Okay, so, and then I start. I take my first term, 
and that's to the power of 5 and that's to the power of um, you can bring the sign in you don't you can go with plus that's to the power of 4 and that's to the power of 3 now and then I take my second term which is minus y over 2 I, oh, I'm too close there okay that's a plus um, yes write it out that you don't struggle like I'm struggling now that okay oh that's the problem luckily that's zero that's why I was writing it so close okay so this will be to the power zero so nothing then this one will be negative take in the negative y over 2 and that's to the power 1 plus and this negative y over 2 and that's to the power 2 plus ta, ta, ta. so this is 1 plus uh, this one is no it's going to be a negative um, 5 over 2 and it's just y and this one uh, this becomes positive so can I just I'm just going to show you because this is going to be because of the even number so it's y squared over 4 so it's going to be 1 minus 5 over 2 y plus 10 over 4 so it's 5 over 2 y squared okay and what is the question uh, uh, expanding it up to the term so if this plus minus plus that's going to be mine ta, ta, ta. but that's the three terms they want okay the number b find the coefficient of y in the ex only y in the expansion okay now first rewrite that we first see what we have Okay, now see that this is the same as this. This is square. Now, if it's square, it's usually easy. You can just, you know that from ordinary level. The short way, I square, I multiply the terms, multiply with 2, so um, 6 times 2, so it's 12y uh, plus 36y squared. And now I write this. This was the first three terms. So it's 1 minus 5 over 2y plus 5 over 2y squared. Okay, I'm just going to move it a little bit up. up. Okay, now they say only y. So if I want to see the terms that's only with y, it seems to me if I take this 1, and I multiply it with this one. I'm only getting y. Okay. This is y squared. If I take this one and I multiply it with this one, I'm also only getting y. Okay. So let's do it. Okay. So now I'm just going to multiply out that green arrows. So 1 times negative, so it's going to be negative 5 over 2y and this arrow so 12 so plus 12y that's the only terms that will have a y and then I simplify remember this is negative 2.5 if I add it I get nine and a half or 9.5 and basically the question states find the coefficient of y in that so I can just end by saying therefore the coefficient of y in the no it, let's just say the coefficient of y and then is <laughs> is nine and a half. And that's your answer. Okay, this is quite challenging, or this is the way that they start asking it in the exams. Okay, so make sure that you practice also two and three, and as I said, even redo a few of them so to make sure that it goes to your long term memory.